Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Lipak Shikurana. Here are the top stories we're tracking for you on Wednesday, the 11th of March. Former Indian Prime Minister Manmohan Singh summoned as accused in coal scam. Karachi tense after police raid MQM headquarters. And world's first solar aircraft makes stopover in India. And now for all the details, an Indian court on Wednesday summoned former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh and four others accused in the coal block allocation scam. The state auditor had claimed that the inefficient awarding of coal blocks to private companies had caused losses worth $170 billion to the exteker. The special court in New Delhi summoned Manmohan Singh, industrialist Kumar Mangalam Birla and three top bureaucrats to appear for hearing in the case on April 8. The case is related to the allocation of coal blocks to Birla's company by the previous government in 2005. Charges against Singh and others include criminal conspiracy, corruption and breach of trust. The court had last year rejected the Central Bureau of Investigation's closure report which said there was no evidence against anyone. The petitioner said the court order was a welcome step. Today, the special court has ordered summoning of several influential people, including a former prime minister of this country. So this is, in my view, a very good sign that the judicial system can function if, if there is adequate attention paid to ensure that uh, the systems will work properly. The ruling Bharatiya Janata Party said the Congress party has been exposed in the scam. Today, what is exposed is already was known as a coal scam. It is a Congress scam because the letter used to come from somewhere else from the government. Jayanti Natarajan has already said it, how the letters used to come to recommend or to block the projects. Even in coal, it is well-known fact that there was extraneous influence. And therefore, CBI is inquiring. The Congress party, however, said it stood by former Prime Minister Singh. I would like to unambiguously underscore and reiterate that the former government, the former Prime Minister, conducted himself with utmost probity, utmost transparency, and time and the legal qua, uh, qua, slash judicial processes will vindicate our stand. The coal blocks allocation scandal, also known as the Colgate scam, dates back to the first term of the United Progressive Alliance government. The state auditor in its report had claimed the exchequer suffered massive losses after the government decided to allocate coal blocks without a competitive bidding. Manmohan Singh, who was the prime minister during the period, also held charge of the coal ministry. Mutahida Kwami Movement or MQM activists have called for a day of mourning across Pakistan after the party headquarters was raided by the police on Wednesday. Many wanted criminals were arrested and huge cash of arms was also recovered in the police operation. A report. Tensions prevailed in Pakistan's southern Sindh province after paramilitary troops raided and sailed off the Karachi headquarters of MQM, one of the biggest political parties in the country. According to reports, the Rangers recovered sophisticated weapons and detained a number of people wanted in criminal cases during the pre-dawn raid. Calling the two-hour raid purely information-based, officials said the targeted operation at 9-0 was meant against those who were jeopardizing the city's security situation. आज सुबह कुछ हमें इतला मिली थी कुछ टारगेट किलर्स और इसके अलावा शर पसंद नासिर जो हैं उनके यहाँ पे इतला थी उसके ऊपर रेंजर्स ने छापा मारे आज और इसमें ऐसे लोग मौजूद हैं जिनको कोर्ट से सजाए मौत की जो है वो उनको सजा मिल चुकी है उनको भी उनकी मौजूदगी भी थी उनको भी अरेस्ट किया गया a number of party workers, including central leaders and member of MQM's Rabita committee, Amir Khan, was detained during the raid along with the Sindh Assembly lawmaker. Rangers said a convict and journalist Wali Babar murder case was also nabbed in, apart from seizing important party documents. An MQM worker was reportedly killed in a shootout by police. Amir Khan sahab filal amare paas hain, hirasat mein nahi hain, lekin unko yakinan pushkash ke liye apne paas rakha gaye. Jin criminal elements ki main baat kar raha hoon, ye Amir Khan sahab ke saath hi the, to Amir Khan sahab batayenge ki ye log unki banana mein kyu the, aur kyu unko yahan refuge diya jaate. 
Following the raid, MQM announced a nationwide strike, demanding suspension of public transport and calling upon the traders to shut their businesses. As fear and tension gripped the commercial hub, markets, schools, colleges and business centres were closed down. MQM is the fourth largest party in Pakistan which dominates Karachi's political landscape. It has for years remained involved in a turf war with Awami National Party for supremacy and control of Karachi, Pakistan's only economic showpiece. MQM chief Altaf Hussain, who fled Pakistan in 1992, lives in exile in London. Narendra Modi became the first Indian Prime Minister to travel to Seychelles in 33 years. Stressing on bettering ties with the Indian Ocean countries, he said the visit reflects New Delhi's foreign policy priorities, which were vital for the region's security and progress. Prime Minister Narendra Modi began his five-day three-nation tour from uh, Seychelles. This is the capital Victoria. Now Seychelles uh, is a grouping of islands which is closer to the African coast than it is to the Indian coast. Yet the country shares uh, very close security and cultural ties with India. I think it is a very important visit, you know, because these three countries, we have historical ties with them. Not only, you know, the political ties, but also the cultural and religious deep-rooted religious ties with these countries. So therefore, you know, it becomes very important. India is the security provider for Seychelles. Uh, it trains its military personnel. It also um, uh, helps Seychelles in anti-piracy operations as well as uh, protecting its special EEZ. Uh, now, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi uh, today to inaugurate the uh, a special radar system uh, installed in Mahe. That will help Seychelles in anti-piracy operations. India is a maritime neighbor of all these countries and so neighbors need to meet often, they need to interact often, they need to cooperate often and this is the theme which dominates Prime Minister's visit to these three Indian Ocean states. It will also help India keep an eye on this region, especially on China, which is increasing its maritime footprint uh, in the Indian Ocean region, prompting uh, India to increase or up its strategic ties with countries in the Indian Ocean region. Smita Prakash for South Asia Newsline in Victoria, Seychelles. A Pakistani court on Wednesday adjourned the hearing of the 2611 Mumbai attacks case until next Wednesday. The decision came after the court was informed that documents were sent to the Islamabad High Court for the bail plea of the attacks mastermind Zakiur Rahman Lakhvi. This is not the first time court proceedings in the long-standing case have been delayed, citing technicalities. The continued slowdown had resulted in Lakhvi being granted bail last December. He was, however, detained later under the maintenance of public order act after strong protest from India. Lakhvi is accused of masterminding the 2008 terror attacks in Mumbai which killed 166 people. The death toll in a suicide bomb blast that struck southern Afghanistan rose to eight on Wednesday. Though no group has claimed responsibility so far, scores of people continue to be treated at various city hospitals. The attack took place in Helmand province late on Tuesday when a suicide bomber detonated his explosives-laden car outside a police station in capital Lashkar Gaha. Those killed included five police personnel. While several children were among the 23 wounded, the majority of casualties were civilians. <laughs> While the injured are undergoing treatment at various city hospitals, many fear the death toll could rise as many wounded still remain critical. The deadly attack comes days after security officials claimed of recovering over three tons of explosives from a car in Helmand province on Saturday. Afghanistan is battling a growing Taliban insurgency ever since NATO troops ended its 13-year of combat mission in December last year. A Sri Lankan court on Tuesday granted bail to Bilindran Jayakumari, a prominent women Tamil activist. 50-year-old Jayakumari, along with a teenage daughter, was jailed since March last year for allegedly sheltering an LTT cadre. Four other Tamil activists were also granted bail along with her by the Colombo court. 
Jay Kumari shot into prominence after leading the protest in the northern province, seeking the whereabouts of thousands of Tamil civilians who had gone missing. Jay Kumari's younger son, who reportedly joined the LTTE, has also been untraceable ever since he surrendered to the Lankan army during the final phase of the civil war in 2009. Sri Lanka had faced international criticism for the way it conducted the crackdown on the Tamil rebels, which according to rights groups left nearly 40,000 civilians killed. Pakistan has announced the suspension of moratorium on all death sentences. The country had earlier this year revoked the same with regard to only terror cases. A report. Pakistan Interior Minister on Tuesday confirmed the suspension of the nearly seven-year-old moratorium on capital punishments. The moratorium was put in place in 2008. The ministry has also directed all provincial governments to proceed with the hanging of prisoners who had exhausted all options of appeal and clemency rejected by the president. Islamabad had partially lifted the suspension only on terror-related cases in January following the Peshawar Army School attack last year. So far, 24 condemned terrorists have been executed in various provinces ever since the moratorium was taken back. According to the Amnesty International, Pakistan has an estimated 8,000 convicts on death row languishing in various jails across the country. Among these, the mercy plea of at least 500 are still pending before President Mamnoon Hussain, while 19 have already been rejected. Pakistan's move to resume executions has been condemned by international rights groups including the European Union and the United Nations alike. A Swiss-built solar-powered aircraft successfully touched India's western Gujarat, completing the major leg of its heroic bid of becoming the first solar plane to fly around the world. Take a look. World's first round-the-world solar flight Solar Impulse 2 successfully landed in Ahmedabad late on Tuesday. The plane, which took off from Abu Dhabi in the United Arab Emirates on Monday, will travel 21,750 miles around the world in 25 days over the course of roughly five months. The aircraft will remain in the western city of India for the next four days to showcase the power of clean technologies and importance of solar energy. And last year, with the Bakoli Irak, we started to initiate contact here in India to see if it could be feasible to bring this, uh, this airplane. And I tell you, the, uh, the response was truly fantastic. We chose Ahmedabad because in this airplane, you have research, you have technology, you have products which comes from this part of the world. There is Ahmedabad inside. The mission aims at highlighting the power of solar energy at a time when the world is desperately looking for clean energy options. The aircraft is the first to fly across oceans and continents and the project took nearly 12 years to develop. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to, uh, to work with the Solar Impulse team. Uh, we've been planning this for over a year. They've been uh, developing obviously the plane. Uh, I first met Andre Boschberg um, a year ago at the Swiss Embassy in, uh, in Mumbai and we talked about uh, getting involved in the project. Uh, Mr. Burl is a great fan and has been uh, very supportive and uh, it's a wonderful day today to see it reality. Switzerland ranked first for the fourth consecutive year on the Global Innovative Index is home to this cutting-edge innovation. The flight is attempting to be the first to go around the world using only power from the sun in a demonstration of the technology that can reduce the use of fossil fuels. The aircraft will also make a stop in northern Varanasi before flying out for its fourth leg to Myanmar next week. Well, that's the way it was in South Asia this evening. Before we conclude, the top stories once again. Former Indian Prime Minister Manmohan Singh summoned as accused in coal scam. Karachi tents after police raid MQM headquarters. And world's first solar aircraft makes stopover in India. Now, viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash SAsianewsline and follow us on Twitter at SAsianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night.